That's the one I was looking for. What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. We're out here on the pier again, the St. Pete Pier. Brand new. We're fishing here in the very back of the pier using small baits like uh, little greenbacks like that, little smaller pinfish or just about anything that's biting down here man. Last time I came out here we caught some nice sized mangrove snapper so we're gonna see if we can get on some mangrove snapper and anything else that's biting today. Let's get to it. Let's let this guy go. That's a nice fish too. He's all right. Nice one too. Yeah, pretty decent. They don't want him? Nah, all right, we're gonna let him go. They're very oily. They're good smoked. What's that? They're good smoked. Oh, are they? Yeah, all right, we're letting them go. Small. Wow. Pretty tiny. Well, let go, buddy. Little dink. See ya. They gotta be 10 inches to keep, and you only allow five per person a day. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. We're keeping him. <laughs> he's probably 11 inches there. That's a 10 inch right there, 11 inches there. That's another good one there. I can't catch any of them here. He said he got them on the grass flat. I might take a hike down here. Ten inch right there. We might let this guy go because we oh, we can probably get a bigger one here. All right, we got our bait down there. I lost a really good one earlier. Gave him a chance to eat it too, man, but he wasn't hooked. Can't really do nothing about that. And the one I caught earlier, I let him go because he's only probably 10 inches, you know. We want one that's 13, 12, 13 inches at least. Dinker! Small. <laughs> Come on, baby. The mackerel. That's a really nice mackerel. I got lucky there. Otherwise, you would have shipped it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. No, you, oh, you want him? Yes. Careful, his teeth. I'll take whatever you don't want. Okay. We don't want, we don't want Mako, we want Snapper. Little guy. Oh my gosh. This guy's chunky. Chunky little dude. This guy is way too small. He's like eight inches there. Not a keeper. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, oh, he's small. This guy is small, man. Barely hooked. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, that was so close. Mackerel. That was funny because that snapper came up and tried to eat the bait off his head. Oh, we are wrapped up, man. Oh, look at that. Look at the snappers right there. You got a score of snappers right here. Dink. Another dinker. The one that was looking at him was way bigger than this guy. A 
That's a better one. That's a good, that's a keeper. He's probably 11, 12. That's 11 inches there. Now I don't want to leave. <laughs> we were getting ready to wrap it up uh, to go get some lunch, but uh, I just happened to catch that one, so we might stick around a little bit. Another good one. This guy is a keeper. He's probably right on 10, but we're going to let him go. Hmm. That's the one I was looking for. He's skinny though, but he's long. That's a really nice one there. You don't mind if I take a picture? No. Go okay, ahead. no, I just... <laughs> you are good. Thank you. Yeah, he's gonna make lunch. <laughs> That's a keeper. Yep. Cool. Alright guys, nice. that one was on the uh, live green bag, little small green bags. That's what I'm using today. Look how small it is. But that's what the snapper will key it in on. So that's what we're using. Just free lining it, using not using any weights or anything. And just let them let them swim. Little guy. <laughs> Looks like he's about to snap any second. Come on, guy. Let's go. Ooh, almost got me. Little dude. these guys man I like to take my time on it because they're so small and I want to get as much meat as I can out of these little dudes. Take your time on it. There's no need to rush. That's some good quality filet right there. Alright we're filleting the biggest one now. This guy's 15 inch dot Pretty solid mangrove snapper for, you know, land-based angler. These guys get well over, you know, 15 inches, 15 to 20 inches uh, out in the bay. Right, it's looking good so far. Last one and then we're just gonna skin it and debone it. So it'll be boneless and skinless filet. That's how I like it. All right, guys. Gonna take the skin off. So that's pretty good there. So on this part, what you want to do is hold on to that. Actually, you can slice it right there, and then and then hold on to the skin, and just go back and forth. The, uh, on the knife or you can do this put it in a, in a angle like that and just go back and forth and pull pull on the skin as well so this knife is not that sharp <laughs> that's good there and we'll get, oh, we get, we get to that later that deboning part deboning that's right right deboning same thing with this one. Jesus. Now we got the skin off. We're gonna get the 
the bones off. If you run your fingers up and down the fillet like that, you can feel the bones right in the center here. Just cut through there. It's very thin, so. That's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, join the notification squad, and I'll see you guys in the next one.